Hello, I'm LinkedIn, and I'm back on my channel, Gymlandia. So today I'm going to be, like, readdressing my video that came out. You know, it kind of blew up a lot. You know, I'm kind of proud of that. Obviously, I had a lot of pushback, but I had a lot of positivity. So, you know, regardless of all the shit that was talked, like, I still gained, like, 50 subscribers. So I really appreciate everyone that subscribed to my channel. I want to be, you know, readdressing some of the common things that were, like, common things were brought up to me, as well as talking about some of the things we've seen so far um, in day one. So first, I want to say I was right. Like, everything I said did come true. So, yeah, like, I was right as a motherfucker. So, I'm going to get into that as well. Um, So, first, I want to start out with um this comment. Like, I received a lot of comments. I think this one I'm going to go first with because, like, this person literally decided to be racist. Like, you took things to a completely different level. It was just, it was just never that deep. It was never that deep. And you decided to, you know, say all of this for what? This person said, media attention doesn't win. Metal smarty, you're making a very strong argument against people with your skin tone being allowed to vote. In other words, black people should not be allowed to vote because of the shit I said. Like, really? We going all the way back to the 60s now? Like, and, you know, it's really important to me because, you know, obviously I am a black person. Um, you know, my grandparents didn't have the right to vote. Um... And, you know, voting is, is is a very important thing in my community. So for someone to be, you know, making jokes about some real shit, this actually happened. Like, people die for that shit. It's not funny. It just lets you know the kind of racist people that we have on the internet. And these are the people that Simone, you know, Rebecca Andrade, Gabby, Shilees, Connor McClain. These are people Jordan Child's going to be talking about. But you attempt to gaslight us. And in the words of, you know, the vice president, Kamala Harris, they, insent, they insult us in an attempt to gaslight us and we will not stand for it. We will not stand for this bullshit. We won't stand for this bit, for this shit. So moving on, like, I'm not going to let motherfuckers like that, you know, obviously stop me from doing what the fuck I'm doing. But, you know, you do want to point shit out, point this shit out. I feel like people try to act like this shit isn't said on the gym tonight. So anyway, moving on to some of the more constructive criticism I got. Some of it was also some haters. Like some of y'all motherfuckers, y'all didn't hear what the fuck I was saying. Y'all was running with shit with no evidence. Like y'all was adding all these different things. Like coming up with all these agendas you try to kiss me having, I didn't even fucking have. So one of the biggest things I heard was, you're glorifying Marta. Like I ain't glorifying no fucking Marta. I literally said, I don't ride for her. I just said she knows what she was doing when it came to, to picking teams. And she did. I heard some of y'all saying that I just want Jenna to be taken based off past accomplishments. I mean, that's what Marta did, though. Like, I, I totally agree with the The gymnast that scores the best should be taken. Like, for example, the top score, like the national champion or the second top score in the era of Simone should always be taken. But the other gymnasts do get a chance based off of accomplishments. Like, for example, in 2016, Lori Hernandez had a star year, but Gabby and Allie were the ones that were picked to do all around. Why? Because people wanted to see Gabby and Allie. And also, um, you know, Lori did not fit into the coordination either because, like, they would have to remove Allie. So, like, basically, you get what I'm saying. But regardless, it just was beneficial. And this shit, like, has been happening. She did the same thing with Gabby and Allie back in 2015 when she got when Maggie Nichols didn't compete all around. So, like, they've been doing this. Like, why y'all continue to act shocked and, like, it really, it's really baffling to me. Like, they've been doing this. And I also want to move on to, um, you know, people said, oh, you're hating on Leanne. Like, I'm not hating on Leanne, Brad. I literally said, I understand why she was taken. Now, I didn't understand why Jocelyn and Kayla, Kayla um, Decella was taken, but I literally said, I understand why Leanne was taken. Leanne is eight. Leanne is consistent. She might not score, you know, is she might not have a high scoring potential, but she definitely, you know, never falls like inter, at least internationally. So I literally said that in my video. I understand why Leanne was taken, but personally, you know, as the qualification round proved, she she didn't really help Team USA anywhere. She's gonna be used on Bean probably because um Sky failed twice. But you get what I'm saying? Like if Sky would have not fallen, she wouldn't have been top three on any apparatus. Jordan Childs would have definitely scored a lot better on Vaughn in Florida than that. And you go back to, you know, 2022 last year, you know, gymnastics definitely had a, a dip off in, in um, viewership, but people were still watching primarily because of Jade and Jordan. 
they were able to keep enough, you know, excitement around gymnastics. You had other people watching gymnastics without Simone being in a competition. And I also want to talk about we had that all um, black girl podium that, you know, got went viral that brought a lot of people into viewing worlds and et cetera. But, you know, all of that excitement happened without Simone. So Simone, you know, was a driver, but, you know, USA needs to think about other adventures when Simone's not here, as well as, you know, just other kinds of viewership. And I also want to, you know, go move on to Jocelyn. And, you know, Jocelyn, she didn't make vault finals, um, but, you know, I was correct. Like her vaults were nowhere near top three to win a medal. She got super countryed out by Shailise with much less difficulty. So again, like the shit I was saying was right. Jade would have definitely scored a lot better than that on ball. She would have definitely probably been favored for bronze. She would have probably beat Yeo as well as um, Yeo and um, Jess on ball. She would have done that. And I want to move on to Jess because like I said, Jess is the great white hope. She's the great white hope. And I, I, you know, she been getting overscored and that shit's really pissing me off because I feel like Leanne really got done dirty by the judges. Like, I feel like the judges really had it out for Leanne, Shailise, and Simone. Like, they were really underscored on some of the apparatuses, especially Beam and Floor. Like, they really got hammered. And you saw Jess make all of these damn mistakes and still be in striking distance of Shailise, as well as, you know, almost outscore Simone and Shailise and Leanne in execution on, on, on floor. Better execution on beam. And let's just look at, let's let's pull up some of this shit on beam. Because people are like, oh, her artistry, her form, her form is not all that. I would say she is a, you know, pretty good gymnast, but her form is not all that. It's not. But y'all don't see that because all y'all see is whiteness and you want whiteness to win. That's all it is. Y'all, you associate artistry with whiteness. That's something I want to get on. Word on the street is it's going to be an all-black girl podium. And they don't want to see that shit. So when they find a way to get Jess on the podium to stop that, don't be shocked. And it's really sad. Like, I feel like these, like, Shailene's got to work so much harder for the same shit for, for crumbs in this motherfucker. And y'all see this shit. I'm glad a lot of people are calling it out. But regardless, like, it's it's so frustrating to me because this shit been happening to Jess for last year. Then, you know, this year, you know, I, I was sure because Shailisa had improvements that she'd be far ahead of her. And then we, we look at the scores and like, this bitch is only two tenths from Shailisa? Are you fucking serious? I would say I think her vault and bars were scored fairly. But the other shit, like, hell fucking nah. So my point is, like, everything I said in my video was accurate. Y'all motherfuckers just ain't want to hear it. Leanne brought Leanne has some liberty ass scores. Jocelyn was not a medal contender on vault, as we proved, I was proven. And you know, I wasn't trashing them. I was just being honest with Team USA. And I was I was right as a motherfucker. I heard a lot of y'all trying to come for Sky. And you know, Sky has fallen three times internationally. That's something to know. And so why I said, like, you know, experience matters. But at the end of the day, you know who else followed that much? Right? Riley fell a whole bunch. All of it should be the art international competitions this fall. Grace never even qualified for a medal. At least, at least Sky can say she qualified to be in finals. So again, like she don't did more than more than your face have done. So for y'all put her on blast, like I totally agree. Like the inconsistency should be noted. Look at what your faves did, but you don't. It's it's in the skin. That's what it is. And I'm real life mad as fuck because obviously, you know, I live in, in, in Japan. So this shit be coming on like 11 or 12 o'clock at night over here. Like, I feel how we felt during the Tokyo Olympics. Like, damn, like this shit is coming on three or four o'clock in the morning. Like, that's the same shit, right? Like, and I, you know, I could stay up if I wanted to. Like, I ain't, I ain't fucking up my, you know, my mornings like that. Like, I still got work in the morning. Like, so I, I be getting up and I be watching this shit. That's how I keep up with it. But yeah, it's, that shit hella frustrating. So my point is, like, everything I said in my video was accurate. Y'all motherfuckers just ain't want to hear it. Leanne brought, Leanne has some liberty-ass scores. 
Jocelyn was not a medal contender on Vol, as we pro I was proven. And, you know, I wasn't trashing them. I was just being honest with Team USA. And I was I was right as a motherfucker. So, again, I'm Langston. Um, that's all I wanted to say, you know, responding to my channel. And, you know, I know I got a lot of pushback. I'm controversial as fuck. I don't expect everyone to fuck with me, but this is my channel. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say. And if y'all don't have a problem with it, then don't have a problem with it. Please check out my other videos. Like, they go off to, like, they get what they supposed to give. Um, so please, you know, give that the time of day type shit. Um, and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Make sure to have a nice day, you guys. Goodbye.